Hi friends, it's Marge Steinhag Fenelon here. Got a short but important message for you this week. My, my message concerns spiritual warfare. Now, why am I talking about spiritual warfare? Well, it's been on my mind a lot lately. Why? Because I've been experiencing quite a bit of it myself for the last, oh goodness, few months. I've, I've been battling spiritual warfare and you know of course it's happening why because I'm working on a very important project for the Blessed Mother and the nasty guy hates the Blessed Mother he doesn't want anything good to happen for her so he's gonna try to ruin it and so this makes me think you know probably you have or are experiencing or will experience spiritual warfare so I'd like to pass on to you what I've learned what I do when I'm faced with spiritual warfare because I won't let it throw me. I won't let it throw me. It might make me detour, but it won't throw me off course because I know that what I'm doing is ordained by God. Just as what you do in your life, your vocation, your work, that's ordained by God for you. So here's what I've learned. I've got four points for you. Four points. The first is don't be surprised. Don't be surprised when you find yourself in spiritual warfare. So things are breaking down or unfortunate things happen. Don't, don't be surprised at that because it's going to happen, particularly if you're doing good things for God. All right, because that's what the nasty guy does not want. So don't be surprised. Yeah, all right, there it is. But don't be surprised and don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't let it shake you because that's what the nasty guy wants. He wants to shake you. He wants to throw you off course. So don't let it scare you. There's nothing to be afraid of. Why? And that's my third point because God will protect you. No matter what happens, God will protect you. He has promised that. And that promise is good in the past, in the present, and for the future. There's this great passage from the book of Deuteronomy, and I want to share it with you. It's Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 7. And this is awesome. It says, The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way and Flee before you seven ways. Isn't that awesome? They shall come against you one way and flee before you seven ways. That's God's promise because he will protect you. He is not going to let you fall to not. He will protect you. And then finally, don't give the nasty guy any credit. Now, I've talked about it in this video, but with purpose. And the purpose is not to give the nasty guy credit, but rather to give God credit for his promise and ability to protect you, to protect me in times of spiritual warfare. So don't give the nasty guy any credit. And what I mean by that is don't talk about it openly. Don't talk, unless it's with your spiritual director, that's a different thing. But don't talk, it, don't talk about it openly in a way that, that proves to him he's getting his way. Or that gives him any credit at all. Or that shows any fear or upset. Now, yes, granted, you know, we can lose our temper when things go wrong. But don't, grab hold of yourself. Don't give him credit because when he gets credit, he knows it. He hears it. He can hear. He can be around. So when you give him credit, it makes him feel more powerful. It encourages him to continue his nonsense. So don't let that happen. Don't give him credit. Just take it in and offer it to God. Pray. Pray hard. And place yourselves into the hands of our Blessed Mother Mary because she is powerful against the evil one. I promise you, you will not, you will not fail 
with the Blessed Mother guiding you. All right, time to go. Thanks so much for tuning in. And remember, don't be surprised. Don't be scared. God will protect you. And don't give the nasty guy any credit. Take care.